Today we are looking at DJI Fly 1.8.0 on the DJI Mini 3 Pro and these are some new customization settings that work both on the DJI RC and N1 controller. So make sure you have updated your firmware to the latest version if you've got the RC and also if you're using a phone make sure you've got the latest DJI Fly version 1.8.0. Now this brings support for the brand new fantastic Mavic 3 Classic but it also brings some new customization features for the Mini 3 3 Pro to give you more control over your drone. So let's get into this. So the main settings under safety remain unchanged. Make sure you go through these and check that your obstacle avoidance is set accordingly and also that you make sure that the other settings on your safety page are all correct. So I would go and check and make sure you've got disabled sideways flight off. If you have that on it just ruins the overall experience and your flight protection, your altitude, distance, auto return to home, make sure all that is correct as well. They can get reset on a firmware update and at the bottom you've got advanced safety settings I would have that set to either return to home or hover but mine has gone straight to hover so I need to change that back to return to home and also where you have emergency propeller stop that should be set to emergency only just to avoid you doing anything drastic and your drone falls out of the air. So if we move over to control and look at gain and expo tuning, this now takes over the advanced tuning that you had before and it's all under one menu now and it's really good. Now if you want to change the speed of how the drone handles itself when it's yawing, so the velocity and the smoothness, you can now fully change this. Just be aware though, if you change this to quite an extreme amount and then you push left or right, that drone is going to really quickly yaw and you can end up hitting something. So I personally quite think the default settings for the cine normal and sport for the aircraft tuning is great just out of the factory settings so i would experiment with them and see how you find them so if you want to change it a little bit how it responds then go and move them and what i would like to see is we've just seen the mavic 3 classic and update which allows you to change the speed of the drone so you can bring it down to be really slow like one meter per second just like the old tripod mode i'd like to see that on the mini 3 but i really do like now the gimbal controls we have on here max control speed and also the smoothness so max control speed this is basically going to be how fast the gimbal goes up and down because it's got to cover such a big range it can either be too fast or too slow depending on how you rotate your gimbal so we're going to look at that now so we can range it all the way from 1 to 100. Now the default is around about 15. So this is just how it rotates up and down. And that might be fine for you. But if you want it to, to be slower or faster, now you can change it. So if we now put it to 1, which I think is far too slow, you can see that the gimbal is tilting down, but so slow. And that's just going to be the, the slowest panning shot I've ever seen in my life. So I wouldn't advise that. But also you can also change it and go really fast as well. And that's probably going to give your viewer a headache. It's, you know, footage is going to be all over the place. So experiment with this, but certainly if we just look at this now, this example, if I put it on 25, if I want to do a rise up panning shot here, so I want the, the C to, to come into the frame last. So as I'm flying towards it, I'm now going to increase that gimbal. Now this might be all right for you, or it might be too fast as well. So this is where you can kind of fine tune it to get your desired effects. I could now lower it to 11, and then if we just do that same shot again, this seems to be a lot more smoother uh, shots where the gimbal is just rotating at more of a nicer pace. You're showing the landscape, but also revealing that scene at the end, even though that scene doesn't look very good at all. But just imagine that to be some spectacular mountain range. Now, tilt smoothness is very important. I'll show you here now, this is, on, this is on zero. So as I tilt the gimbal, as soon as I take my finger off that, it's like an abrupt ending. It doesn't look good at all. Now, if you increase that tilt smoothness it basically adds like another kind of second or half second to that gimbal rotation as well for you so it's nice and smooth you don't want anything where you're panning or showing a scene and then it's like an abrupt ending it wants to be nice and fluid but then also a nice smooth end you can see now that gimbal tilt is a lot nicer so experiment with that you might find the default settings are a bit too abrupt i do so i would increase that a little bit just so you can get this really nice smooth gimbal panning motion 
Now return to home is changed as well. So once that message comes on, you can now confirm it or cancel it using the back buttons on your controller. You don't have to physically touch the screen. So to cancel it, press that C1 button and to confirm, press that C2 button. So it is better now you don't have to press the screen and maybe touch the wrong button. So that's good. So certainly have a play around with those gain and expo tunings. Hopefully it improves more and we get this speed tuning as well, just like in the Mavic 3 Classic. So we can bring that cine speed right down. That'd be really good. Now you may notice my horizon wasn't level at all this is a problem a lot on the mini drone so if we go to control gimbal calibration and hit manual you can change your horizontal and your settings here so if we go to the horizontal this tends to work if we just go plus or minus and just look into the horizon and try and get that level so that's a lot better than it was before once you've done that hit x in the top left corner and that's it sorted now you might have to do that a few times it seems to have an issue with smaller drones with the gimbal getting blown about all over the time especially in the wind now if we look at control we've looked at the gain and expo tuning we're now going to look at button customization so on the Mavic 3 Classic, what a fantastic feature is cruise control. If we go to the top menu here, you'll see C2 button. If we just click on that, under camera is exactly the same as it was before. If we click on control, you'll see hyperlapse cruise control is now an option. If we click on that now. When you do a manual hyperlapse, rather than you having to control the drone all the time, the motion of it on the right stick, you can click cruise control and it will do it all for you. So I'm just gonna change the duration to two seconds. And now I've set my C2 button to be the hyperlapse cruise control. As soon as I start a motion on the right stick, so I'm gonna go backwards, I'm gonna hit the C2 button and look there, cruise control in use. And now the drone is just flying backwards on its own. And this is really good. When you're doing a manual hyperlapse, any movement with human error on that stick is gonna show on the video at the end. It's gonna look rubbish. So now the drone can do all the flying for you automatically. And this is really good. It basically prevents any human error on that right stick because if you're going forwards and you accidentally sneeze or something that footage is going to look terrible so now it's going to do it all for you and just by hitting the c2 button it stops the cruise control so you can go forwards you could maybe go backwards you could go sideways and as soon as you start that motion you just hit the cruise control and it does it now whilst it's in cruise control you can increase or decrease the altitude of the drone on the left stick but it's nice and smooth, that speed is consistent. I can also change the gimbal rotation as well. If you like hyperlapses, this is perfect, especially for more manual control hyperlapses like this. And I think this is really interesting because all of this is what's new now on the DJI Mini 3 Pro, but we weren't able to do this at all in video mode. And this is the difference between the Mini 3 Pro and the new Mavic 3 Classic, which came with cruise control straight out of the box. Cruise control, you could be used in hyperlapses, video mode, and night video mode. The Mavic 3, this wasn't allowed or wasn't able to do that when it first came out. And this has now been updated with a firmware update. So the Mavic 3 can now use cruise control in normal video mode and night video mode. So this obviously can be achieved with a firmware update. So can this now be put onto the Mini 3 Pro so we can now have full cruise control in video mode via a firmware update? That would be a fantastic Christmas present to any Mini 3 Pro owner. Come on DJI, I'm sure this can be done with the next firmware, please. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. If you did, just hit that like button. It really does help out. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button for loads more content coming soon. It's really good to see new firmware updates being pumped out for the Mini 3 Pro. And I can't wait to see a firmware update which shows cruise control in video mode. If you want that as well, just comment down below. Cruise control, cruise control, cruise control, DJI. Bring it us, please. Bye-bye.